this is Sarge and I bring for kids fish and today I'll be reviewing The Lego Movie 2, the second part. This is a superb, long-awaited follow-up to the original part that lives up to the year's worth of her hype surrounding it. The, as always, vibrant voice talent, including new standouts and quippy writing make for a cartoon genre-defying blast. Anyone who are fans of the Lego franchise and movies are long overdue to check this out. The movie falls five years since everything was awesome. The movie falls five years since everything was awesome, as the citizens of Bricksburg face a new threat found within the Lego Duplo invaders. Unfortunately, Bricksburg has been left to ruin and has descended into Apocalypseburg, where citizens brood in a Mad Max type world. Luckily, Emmett always retains hope, even when General Mayhem captures many of his friends. This takes Emmett on a journey across multiple unexplored worlds, including a central Duplo musical, Planet Land, as the fate of the Lego galaxy relies upon him. To service this plot of galactic proportion, we have an ensemble cast shared by the likes of Chris Pratt in not just one role, but two roles, as of course his iconic Emmett, but Rex Dangerous. He continues to shine as Emmett with the reluctant hero taken to deeper territories as his hope to regain his friends is always tested. Rex Dangerous, however, shines and is my favorite character in the movie as he remains a charming presence and even mirrors many of Pratt's roles in, the, in Hollywood. His relevance to the plot also remains... His relevance to the plot also provides for some mind-bending revelations. Elizabeth Banks as Lucy Wildstyle continues with her heartfelt buddy dynamic with Emmett, but of course there are some newer character developments found here as she wants him to turn into something more intimidating. This proves her an interesting drive in, in, his, in Emmett's quest to find Lucy. New additions from the likes of Stephanie Beatriz and Tiffany Haddish are a welcome one are welcome ones, with their unique Duplo builds taking the spotlight. But, in particular, Tiffany Haddish as Queen Whatever Anabi, you heard that right, shines with her seemingly malicious intent and her deceitful musical numbers. Will Ornette, Alison Brie, and Charlie Day return from the first movie and continue their signature work, with all even having a moment to shine amid this gigantic cast. Mike Mitchell directs this movie with the great mastery of the unconventional cartoon styles found here, which in fact span pans out beautifully. Also, credits to Phil Lord and Chris Miller who return with a script that may even bo that may even be more f that may even be funnier and more meta than the first. My favorite scene is, of course, the musical number between Batman and Queen Whatever and Nobby. It's just a hilarious scene that is a true show so showcase of this series' unique sense of meta commentary and humor. My only problems with the movie do stem from the real world seems, even though the dynamic between Finn and Bianca, who are played by Jaden Sand and Brooklyn Price, it is a very touching one, but despite this, they these scenes don't really lead to much and feel tacked on, with the time gap of five years seeming like something of an afterthought. The movie does have a great message in that everything will not always be awesome, but in times like those we must always come together and and help others as much as we can. I give this movie a 4.5 out of 5 stars and recommend it from ages 6 to 18. This is Arjun Iyer, printing for Kids First. Thanks for watching. It's on your face. What? No. <laughs>